This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Ride, we're talking about anamorphics. That bokeh, though. Welcome to Film Ride. The show takes mystery out of the effects techniques. Going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host. Ryan Conley, and a little while ago, I was lucky enough to get my hands on Lettuce's latest invention, which is the Anamorphics Adapter. It's freaking epic, and we are going to talk about that today, along with some no-budget ways to get some sexy flare action. But before we get into that, in case you missed it, we have finally launched our digital store. Finally. It took a lot of work to get everything done and lined up, but it is finally live, and of course we have our gun sound pack up there for, for you to enjoy, which starts with our biggest pack, that's the priciest one, but it goes all the way down to an indie pack to get you started that's only $10, so something for any budget. We also have other cool digital downloads like Film Riot's drag and drop color preset pack, which comes with a bunch of color presets and a 12 minute tutorial on color grading. Then we have a lower thirds pack, this one is awesome. It's actually the same technique that we use for our show. It's this pre-made lower third that you can then easily replace the text for with everything different that you do, or you can modify it to make it your own version. We made this one after getting a ton of requests from you guys for something similar. So there you go. This is just the start though. We're gonna be adding a lot more as we go, including some tutorials. And we're actually using this site to help us raise money for bigger projects like Outsiders and so on. Our version of a Kickstarter, I guess. We make cool stuff to help you guys, and in return, it helps us make cool projects, which then helps us make bigger and better educational material. Circle of Film Life. It's the Circle of Life. You forgot film, Circle of Film Life. I was like, oh, this is awesome. But then you totally... That's pretty good. We also have a poster for our short film, Proximity, which is up and ready for you to have these, but we're gonna talk about that at the end of the episode. Enough business. Let's talk the sexy. Anamorphic shooting is something that I drool over, but it's almost never practical because either A, it's insanely expensive and doesn't fit into the budget, or B, you use some other method, but it's too time consuming or unreliable to really commit to, which hurts my heart. So as a compromise, we just toss on a letterbox like this. And why do we do that? For the composition. 90% of the time, I prefer this composition over this. It just makes for a more interesting image for me, and of course, more filmic since we subconsciously relate that aspect ratio to major films. But what you are losing out on when you do it that way is resolution, bokeh, and flair, if you want it. Until now. Here it is, the Lettuce Anamorphics Adapter, a sexy optical magic maker wrapped in plastic. You add this onto the front of your lens to stretch the image out 1.33 times to get that anamorphic look look. And in the front is a built-in matte box and filter tray, which is nice since that's going to help keep the weight and length off the front of your system. To mount it, you remove the ring, screw that to your lens, then attach the adapter to the rods by first mounting the lens support, then screwing the other half here to the adapter, then sliding it in and locking it down. Now you move it back to the lens and tighten it down onto the ring and you are good to go. Up here you can see that you have adjustments for near and far with some helpful markings. You don't have to touch this too much, but it does help dial in the focus for those different focal lengths that you're going to be choosing. So let's take a closer look at what this is actually doing, which is this. Without and then with the adapter. With it, we are stretching the image out, elongating it so that you can then bring the footage into your editor, squeeze it back down, and since this is a 1.33 stretch on a 16 by 9 image, you end up with a 1.39 to 1 aspect ratio, like so. I really love the look you get from the anamorphic process. It gives the whole image a slightly more fantastic feel, much more filmic as well, since like I said before, we relate this look to some of the biggest films we've ever seen, like those from Spielberg, Scott, Nolan, and so on, but the best part is that you are using every precious pixel. Since you are squeezing the image down to get that aspect ratio instead of cropping a part of your image off, you retain all the resolution your camera offers. One of the things I love most though about what it does for the image is the bokeh. Since it's stretched to start, when you squeeze it back down, you get a much more different aesthetic to those out of focus areas in your image, which is much more akin to what you're used to seeing on film. And that just goes for the image as a whole. If you take this landscape shot, looks good, but then when you shoot it anamorphic, it comes to life in a whole new way for me. Of course, you could just throw those widescreen bars on it, 
but you're losing that resolution and you won't get that same filmic aesthetic as you will from true anamorphic processes. But when it comes to a close small room type shot, you can more easily cut that footage that you get with the adapter and without together, but there's still a difference in the way that it feels to me. And then of course there are flares. This adapter comes set up to get some solid flares, but without going too far and becoming uncontrollable. But you definitely can get some great flares if you want them and then keep them completely out if you'd rather. And they come with different levels of flare capabilities on the adapter as well. So that's the overview of this adapter, which I love personally. It's pricey for the no budget filmmakers for sure, but if you are low budget and above and have been looking to get into more anamorphics, I'd say this is your best bet. Domain.com is a place to go if you're looking to get yourself seen on the interwebs. You're looking to promote yourself, your business, your films perhaps. You Without need... any clothes on. Without any... Just getting all up naked up in there. Nope. All kinds of Not nudity. You are naked continually... Naked body. Of yourself. You need a domain name and web hosting, and the best place to go for that is Domain.com. They got that domain discovery system to help you pick the right name for you. They got reliable hosting service that's affordable, and we can make it more affordable by using the coupon code TRICKY25 at checkout to get 25% off. This is lasting for only one more week. So if you were on the fence thinking about, you need to do it. You only got a week left to get that 25% goodness. So. Go to domain.com, use a coupon code TRICKY25 at checkout. Get that website and, of the naked self. No, you know what I'm saying? no. Put that nudity of yourself on the internet. Uh, when you think domain names, think domain.com. Logo. So what about the no budget people, hmm? What about you folks? Well, there are a few things that you can do for sure. First is the anamorphic projector lenses that you can get off eBay or places like vidatlantic.com, or you can even go cheaper and grab the vidatlantic.com anamorphic filters, which we actually did an episode on both those things, which you can find right here. But what if you don't have any cash at all? Well, you won't be able to get that anamorphic bokeh, but you can do a DIY trick to get some pretty epic flares like this, which you can get without spending any money at all. And here's how you do it. Grab some fishing wire and secure it to go straight up and down the front of your lens right in the middle. Then shoot on as low of a f-stop setting as you possibly can and boom flares. Now when you're using wider glass like this or shorter focal lengths like under 50 millimeter, you aren't going to get as good of a flare. With bigger fronts like this lens, you'll get a flare, but it's really not attached to the source and it does some odd things. But once you jump to something like my 50 millimeter Helios or my 85 millimeter Nikon, you get some epic and convincing flares since the fishing wire is catching that light, making it just this sharp highlight right in front of the lens. And it's so close to such a small opening, you get these nice elongated anamorphic style flares. Crazy simple, but shockingly effective. I also found this blog post right here. This kid did some post-processing and After Effects to get that sort of look you get from anamorphic lenses, just the distortion that comes from it. It's subtle, but definitely interesting, so check that out too. But that is it for today. Good so, job, everybody. Good game. Good game. Good game. Butt -pat. Way to keep your eye on the ball. But a couple of goodies before we go. First of all, as you saw me using the footage in today's episode, we do have that aspect ratio pack for you at our store right here. But more importantly, we finally have our posters for our new short film, Proximity, which I'm super excited to show you, and I will right now. This one was also done by the amazingly talented Adam Rabelais, who you can find at this site right here. Dude is amazing, which we actually made a very limited amount of, and once they're gone, that's that. I really doubt we'll ever make more. So if you want one, you know, get it. Also, the first 100 people to buy a poster are going to get a coupon code for 50% off anything in our store. Yes, you heard me. You could get over $100 off of something potentially just by buying a poster. It's a sweet deal. You can also get the poster signed if you want. It's a selection that we're gonna put on there. So you can either select to get it signed or unsigned. If you select for the signed, I will sign that for you. Totally up to you. So go to this link right here for that sexy poster awesomeness action. And I'll see you guys next week when I decide to become mortal for Meg Ryan. I, I know, I don't know why either. Now when you're using wider glass like this or shoto Now when you're using wider glass like this or shorter fo fo this or shoto fo 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 <laughs> or shorter focal lengths this or shorter for for guys <laughs> this or shorter for <laughs> <laughs>
I like going into it with trepidation. This or shorter fork or dwarf. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Shorter focal lengths. Are you kidding me? Shorter focal lengths. This or shorter forker lengths. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>